Let's suppose that we were told that the tangent of theta is equal to a negative 5 sevenths. So then the question is, do we know where that particular angle is? The answer is, you know not necessarily. Uh, we've got some ideas where it could be. We know that this angle is not in the first quadrant because the tangent is positive there. We know that the, that the tangent is going to be the opposite, the y value of a, of a point on the terminal side, divided by the adjacent, the x value on the terminal side. So it could be over here in negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That is a possibility for where the, uh, the terminal side could be. So there's, there's one possibility to say that. What I want you to see is that there's really another possibility. And, uh, and that would be down here where we've got a positive 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and a negative 1, 3, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So down here somewhere, where either this angle or maybe some negative angle. But the terminal side could be down there somewhere. So here are two possibilities. Here is this terminal, a point on the terminal side could possibly be negative 5, positive 7, or it could be down here, a, uh, a positive 5, negative 7. So we would need to have some other information uh, to know what was going on here. Uh, suppose that, that we were told then that maybe in addition to knowing that the tangent of theta is equal to a negative 5, 7, we were also told that the cosine of theta happens to be positive. Okay. A combination of those two says that it would have to be this case down here. So now we'd be able to say a lot of other things if we were asked to say what is the sine of theta. Well, we know that the terminal side has to be down here for two reasons, and it took two pieces of information to tell us that. The tangent was a negative 5 7. So negative 5 7, so 7 or, a, or a positive 5, negative 7 could be a terminal, could be a point on the terminal side. So it could either be here in the fourth quadrant or here in the second quadrant. But we also know that the cosine has to be positive. And the cosine is positive in this uh, uh, fourth quadrant, but it's negative in this second quadrant. So it's got to be down here. Therefore, we're working on so there's the right triangle that we can worry about. This distance is 5. We're thinking that this would be the negative 7. And this right here is going to be 25 plus a negative 7 squared. 39. So that's going to be the square root of whatever that is. So now I know what the sign is. It's the sign is the opposite over the hypotenuse, the negative 7 over the square root of 74. The cosine is the adjacent 5 over the square root of 74. We all know, already know what the tangent is, and we can find whether it's 